hello and welcome to 10th jmeter training video in this video we will have a look at uh, http cache manager and running test from command line uh, we had a look at uh, loss of uh, caching concept in the last session and we would see some practical examples in this video so let's begin with http cache manager i have uh, jmeter gui opened here with a very simple test plan which we are going to detail in this video. So let's see what is HTTP Cache Manager. HTTP Cache Manager is one of the entity which you can add in a test plan, which I have added here. It has a couple of options, which are clear cache on each iteration, use cache control expire headers with get request and maximum number of elements in cache. So let's see these elements in details. So what is clear cache in each iteration? If I select this checkbox, it means that JMeter would clear cache on each iteration of test run, which means that for each request which is sent to the server, cache elements would not be used. For example, when there is a web page uh, is requested from the server and it has JavaScript or images or other HTTP uh, related components, then they would be served from the cache. They would not be served from the cache and they would be retrieved from the server. But if I do not select this option, that is, cache is not cleared on each iteration, then these elements will not be served from the server and they would be retrieved from the internal cache, which means to say that you would not see 200 response code, you would see 304 response code, which means that there has been no modifications in the response. So this is about the uh, clear cache element on each iteration. Now what about the number of elements which could be saved on the cache? This is something which is specified here in the text box for maximum number of elements which is 5000. You can increase this value to some other uh, higher number but you should remember that it would be more CPU and memory consuming. Hence in this case you should also increase the memory available to JMeter which you can do using option hyphen X MX. Now, if a sample is successful, which means to say that if JMeter receives 200 response code, then last modified an e tag header for this response along with the URL are saved. And before we execute the next sample or before JMeter executes the next sample, it will check if there is an entity in the cache. And if so, then to check if last modified and if none match conditional headers are set or not. Now, in this case, uh, consider that request is a get request and time is step in the future. Then in this case, JMeter will not make request to the server. After having had made first request, after having gotten the cached elements, the second request onwards, sample would be returned immediately and the elements would be served from the cache, which we are going to have a look at. Now, let's see our test plan. In our test plan, we have just one sampler which I have named as HTTP cache manager. Now what I'm doing here is I'm requesting the policy page from Google. Uh, this element is specified in our test plan. So in the test plan, I have app URL as google.de. So this is our uh, top level domain here. And then HTTP cache manager will make a request to URL Intel EN policies, privacy, and so on. Following this, I have a response assertion here, which verifies presence of a text in this page which is information we get from your use of our services. Now, this request or this uh, response assertion would be successful on first iteration as well as on the further iterations if we are clearing the cache on each run, which we are going to have a look at now. And then in the test plan, I am running the test with one user because we are just going to try to see the concept here. We are not really doing a load test here. There is no ramp up period, so the ramp up period value is zero and it would be run for 30 seconds. So let's execute this and see what happens. So I'm going to run it using, uh, by hitting the green button here, or I can also say control R, which is going to run the test. So if you see the green button is disabled now, stop is enabled and we have HTTP cache manager first request, which is successful. And then we say second request onwards, it fails. So let's have a look at what's happening here. Let's go back to HTTP header manager, uh, sorry, HTTP cache manager. And if you see here, we are not clearing cache on each iteration. This checkbox is unselected. In this case, what happens is we have response received for first sampler, wherein the response code, code is 200. The request is here. And this is the response data in text format. 
but what happens from the second request onwards is we have response code 304 which is not modified hence there is no response data retrieved there is no response body this is the reason that the response assertion fails here because there is no response body so there's nothing against which a uh, response assertion could be verified and so on all of the response assertions fail and this is happening because as i mentioned earlier we are caching the response and we are not clearing it on each iteration let's try opposite of it now so let me clear the results you can either go to run command and say clear or you can just say control e and it would clear the results now let's change the settings we will select clear cache on each iteration and at this point of time we should see success in all of our runs so let's run the test again by hitting ctrl r yeah so test run has begun and now we have http cache manager sampler request subsequently being coming up and all of them are successful because we do not have any element coming from the cache this time so we have a look at response headers for the first request we have 200 here second also 200 third also 200 so each point of time we have the elements being returned or the response being returned from the server hence we also have the response data this is the reason our response assertion is not failed with this run now let's see uh, why the responses are a little slow here if you had a look at uh, the re request took a little time uh, from one request to another this is happening because i had added a constant timer here which is for 2000 milliseconds which equals to two seconds so this is all about how we can use http cache manager now let's see how we can run tests from the command line uh, we have been running tests from the gui so far but in the future session we will make use of command line execution because running tests from gui itself will have overhead on the jmeter itself so we can get rid of this by running tests from the command line and how do we do that so let me just execute a command which is this let me explain it to you this command requires path to the jmeter shell script if you are on windows then you have to go to your jmeter installation directory bin, bin directory and then you have to say jmeter.vg i am on windows here so i am i am running jmeter.sh and then i would be executing it in non gui mode hence i have selected hyphen n which means non gui mode then i have selected hyphen t which is the path to the test plan uh, which is my directory here which is jmeter test plan jmeter http cache manager the test plan which we executed just now and then hyphen l flag which is the path to the log file so here my log file is test result.log now let me hit the enter button and let me also uh, uncheck the option for clearing the cache okay let's save this and let's run the test plan now after some time we will start receiving a uh, summary of samples uh, which would indicate to us what is happening uh, on the test front because we do not have any GUI in action here so we can see here the tree is created successfully it has started the test and it is waiting for the possible shutdown message which would be once test run is over so let's see when we have first sample summary so here we have our first sample summary and here we have uh, 10 requests in 21 seconds average time is 0.5 seconds minimum uh, minimum is 34 maximum is 223 and error is 9 i'm sorry average is 60 seconds so in in about uh, 30 seconds we have our test over which was the duration of the test and by then we had uh, in 31 seconds about half a request with average time of 52 milliseconds minimum of 33 milliseconds maximum of 223 milliseconds and 14 errors we know these errors happen because there is no response body being returned and our response assertion fails now i am storing these results in test result.log and we can open this file in something called view results in table this is because i have stored or these values are stored in csv format by default let's open this file which is testresult.log if i am right yeah so this is the file let's open it yep so if you see couple of the requests are successful but subsequent requests keep failing 
and we know the reason for this. So this was all about HTTP cache manager and running test from the command line. Uh, that's all for this session. So if you like this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in next video for JMeter training. Keep learning. Bye-bye.